reach for the stars, not in Hollywood, but over at Mount Sachs Randall Planetarium. I did not know they had a planetarium. Neither did I. <laughs> um, today we have Planetarium Supervisor Heather Jones with us to tell yeah. us a little bit about what you can see out at Mount Sac. Yay! This is fantastic. <laughs> I did not know this existed. You know, a, a, treasure. a surprising number of people say that, but the planetarium's been there since the 60s. Wow. We do um, shows and programs for the community, uh, also for local schools on field trips, scout groups. We even do some birthday parties at the planetarium. Oh, maybe I need to have my next birthday there. Yeah, I, come Heaven knows I'm not going to be in Hollywood <laughs> with a star. Maybe I should come and check out the stars at your planetarium. Oh, please do. Yes. <laughs> so when kids come to the planetarium, are they going to jump into a rocket ship or what are they doing while they're there? Well, it's going to feel like that a little bit because they're going to, um, in the planetarium, you sit down and, and the stars are above you in the ceiling. And we can give you a tour of the night sky, let you know what, what's visible this time of year and learn more about the planets and our solar system. So what are they going to see? Is it going to be something like this when they look out? Well, you know, it depends on the show you want to see. We actually have a wide variety of shows that you can choose from to learn more about astronomy and um, our our stellar neighborhood. Wow. So, so are the shows conducted at night, during the day? What time? Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. We, we have evening shows, and people can check our website at www.mountsacplanetarium.com uh, to see our schedule of events for public shows. You can just come buy your tickets at the door and um, see the show. Tickets are fairly cheap. Uh, it's uh, $4 for students and oh, seniors and $6 yeah, for nice. adults. Very cheap. So tell me about this. Is this a duplicate of what you have at the planetarium? Yeah, this is actually um, what we call a smith cassegrain telescope. And um, we have a bunch of these much bigger at the observatory. We have a bunch of 8-inch scopes. This is a 3.5-inch. And, and uh, we have a big 16-inch yeah. one. That's our giant research mm -hmm. telescope. Now, that's at the observatory. A lot of people don't realize that there's a big difference between a planetarium and the and observatory. Oh, yeah. Okay. So planetarium, we project the stars on the ceiling. You learn more about astronomy there. In the observatory, we look through the telescopes. Cool. And um, we have both of these facilities. We have um, uh, generally the first Friday of the month. This next coming month, Labor Day messes us up a little bit. So it'll be second Friday. But you can come see a planetarium show, learn about the stars. And then we take you up to the telescope observatory and you can look through our telescopes. And I understand you also have some special lenses to see the sun. That's right. Um, we do solar viewing for uh, special events. Like, for instance, this little girl was looking through our telescope for a solar eclipse that happened a couple years ago. And we have uh, another one coming up. Uh, August of next year, uh, we'll have a big solar eclipse and we'll be hosting a big event for that. Goodness. What else can kids do when they come to the planetarium? Well, if they come with a, a scout group or for a field trip, we, we've got a great program for them. In addition to seeing a planetarium show, they also make their own rocket. Mm -hmm. um, looks a little something like this when oh, they're all that done. That looks like fun. Yeah. yeah. These rockets, we launch them using compressed air and they go over a hundred feet high. Really? The kids <laughs> get a big kick out of it. Of course they do. Yeah, that's great. So how much time do they need to uh, organize a trip to the planetarium? Well, you have to contact us at least two weeks in advance. Okay. And by going to our website, you can fill out a reservation request and see what dates we have available. Oh, nice. So tell us, what is this exactly? That's the Orion Nebula. That's one of my favorite nebulas to look at. It's one of the brighter ones, and so it, it's easier to see. That's actually a wintertime one, so we can't see it right now. But in a couple of months, we'll be able to see it again. So how many times do you suggest somebody coming to the planetarium to see very specific types of events? Um, well, I would say come back multiple times. One sh show that we feature every month is called Star Tales. But that show changes with the seasons. So if you come see it in the winter, it'll be completely different than the show that we give in the summer. And so I, I invite people to come back as, uh, many times to the planetarium. We always have something new to look at. Great. Heather, again, what number do they call or what website should people reach out to? You can call 909-274-5795 or check our website at www.mountsacplanetarium.com. Nice, thank you so much for being on with us. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks. Up next, we have the Taste of Sunrise, one of our favorite mm -hmm. segments. And we are going to have the lovely 
um, Jocelyn Hansen with Buttermilk House Catering. Mm -hmm. She's going to show us how to make some Brian Crote. Crote? Crote? I don't know. Us. Maybe she'll show us how to pronounce it. I'm not sure. But I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Up next.